Every year in sport and general aviation, loss of control events are the single most significant contributor to serious and fatal aircraft accidents. Recognising the onset early and avoiding it in the first place. By the time I'd got it, uh, the aircraft had become airborne in the three-point attitude. I probably didn't even have time to think, oh, shit. The plane went into about a 360-degree stall spin and impacted the ground. It's a clear stall spin, a high nose attitude and then a stall. As we start to lose visual reference to the natural horizon, we start to lose our situational awareness as to what the aircraft is doing. In this three-part series, we explore the critical phases of flight where loss of control occur. We look at the primary causes, we look at contributing factors, and we talk to real pilots, subject matter experts, and we delve into the situations and how to avoid these types of accidents. We've used too much rudder to, to keep the aircraft in balance on a full power climb, for example. And now the aeroplane is very slutty. Now I've gone over. Left, left rudder and departure. And we've got your visual again. We'll get through right turn just to track away from the houses, mate. If we can save just one life, it will be worth making this series. One, two, three. We've just lost over 10 knots. If we're only 200 feet, look what we lost. Yeah, we're in the ground already. That's right. We hope that this series will help create a safer flight environment for our pilots. <laughs>